Hello viewers, assalamu alaikum. My name is Sajid Khan and today we discuss about new topic how to log in application using table DB user. Let's suppose we have one user's master table and we log into uh, application for this with the help of this table. Okay, for first of all we create this table in the database. So this is my table and this is my column user id emp code emp name email etc and user id this is my primary key okay so copy this and paste this area and table create successfully db users okay now go to the scroll down and add create the trigger for auto increment id so this is trigger for the auto agreement user id uh, let's suppose you create uh, records one by one so id id automatically created in the database so we use this trigger create or replace trigger trigger name before insert on db users referencing neo s and select minimum user id plus we add plus one into this user id from db users so copy this copy this trigger and create successful now move on Now move on the master status table for defining status and use into the db user table. So create the master table, master status table, simple status id and status name. So we use the master status table and also We add access master. Let's suppose is a like developer, is a like uh, maker, checker, like. So we create this table. Okay, and last one is add the constraint. For the master table DB users, so add the foreign key status ID and access ID into the DB user. So, first of all, enable the primary key. Now, enable the foreign key status ID and add the SSID is the following. Okay. Now, structure record was successfully. Now go to the Apex and create a new application for example Now create a report with form for the db user table interactive included form users report and users form okay and scroll down and add the table db users
memory key user id defined and this is auto increment id we already create the trigger for the auto increment okay now run and add the new record let's suppose first of all we change the setting emp name text field text field emp code number now run and emp code define uh, one double zero one double zero one this is my emp code name shanjil on and status not defined so skip the status we define the ne uh, next session so password expiry date we add password expiry date 30 and current, current password abc123 no add write id no add access id created by and created date today now create successfully this record created successfully now we log in uh, we create a new once record one more record 1002 Skip this is and add the password. Okay, skip this right ID access ID created by and created date. Okay, now create successfully. We have created two uh, uh, record for DB user. Now we log in to for this user 1001 and the password is ipc123 so first of all uh, before to log in we add the uh, custom authentication for the login purpose so go to the authentication scheme and create base and custom auth authentication and custom uh, authentication function name live custom auth okay and scroll down and add the ps sql so we already create already define the ps sql so we add this function for the custom auth like this is your function name username password this is two variable return boolean and this was my user for the store the variable one for the first time where emp code like be username and current password this p password this is login username username password page item and return to exception when not data form simply function created now copy this function and scroll down is and tb user just like db users successfully emp code and current password go to the this table and let's check this is your db users emp code and current password okay now apply chain this and custom now uh, updated this and this is the current working okay 
if you now use custom authentication if you use uh, oracle apex uh, login so this is your mark scheme if you use otherwise it is a current mark okay now login the application this is my username emp code 1001 and current password this apc login 1001 apc123 Let's go to the line number 17 Okay, by mistake in the function name, so change into the function name. This custom auth is correct. Apply changes now. Run one double zero one APC one two three. So look at this is your database. <laughs> if you use one double zero two. 1.02 and apc123456 this is the password so sorry 1.02 apc123456 i think this is your password now check the apc123 1002 ABC 123 5456. This is the password. We wrong the input the password. So we left current 123456. And go to the 1002 ABC 123456. Okay. So this is your login to the table user database table user clearly if you add the status id so define the status master table and access id is just like we add the we go to the status table and add the insert a record just like status one active and create another inactive okay and in enter the access table for let's suppose we enter the two record uh, just like admin and second is developer Now we let's uh, let's suppose Shadil is the admin, so scroll down and add the status active and the access ID is admin. Okay, and it's like developer, so active and table. so th this is a master table we uh, enter the status and that uh, access and use into the db user table just like uh, for the example in the purpose of uh, users management okay so thank you for watching video i hope you clearly the how to login uh, application using tool a db user so thank you for watching video